My dear P5 learners, welcome to this online program. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. In our previous lesson, I taught you about rounding off. We rounded off to the nearest tens, we rounded off to the nearest hundreds, and we went as far as rounding off to the nearest thousands. So today, I'm not going to repeat what I did last week in the last lesson. So you will allow me today to take you through a new lesson, and that is Roman numerals. Roman numerals is a lesson that was introduced to you in P4, actually even in P3. So I hope when I talk about Roman numerals, this is not a new concept. So when we talk about Roman numerals, this is a way of writing numbers using letters that originated from Latin alphabet. So Latin alphabet is different from the English alphabetical order that we use. That's why when we are writing some numbers in Roman numerals, there are some letters which we don't use. And I think your teachers taught you that very well. So in order for you to master how to write numbers in Roman numerals, you must be well acquainted with the seven basic Roman numerals. The be seven basic Roman numerals. So these seven basic ro Roman numerals are, in Hindu we have one, then we have five. I go back to one, but I add a zero. I go back to five, I add a zero. I go back to one, I add now two zeros to make it different from this. I go back to five. Uh -huh. This one has one zero, so I put here two zeros. I go back to one to make it different from this. I put there three zeros. Okay? So I hope you have seen the way I'm playing around with it. Digit one and digit five. Okay? One. 5. I repeat 1, but I put a 0. I repeat 5, I put a 0. I repeat 1, then I put two zeros to make it different from this, like that, like that, like that. So, how do we write 1 in Roman numerals? In Roman numerals, 1 is written as I, capital I. We don't use small letters. What about 5? This one is V. What about 10? This one is X. What about 50? This one is L. What about 100? 100 is written as C. And what about 500? 500 is capital D. What about 1000? That is M. Okay? These are the seven basic Roman numerals that are going to help you to write other numbers. So we have said one is written as I, five is written as V, ten is written as capital X, fifty is written as capital L, one hundred is written as capital C, five hundred is written as capital D, and 1,000 is written as capital M. Having shown you this, Roman numerals are further divided into three categories. We have Roman numerals that are got by repeating. By repeating. These Roman numerals start with 2, and three. So, any Hindu Arabic numeral that begins with the two or three, that one you must get it by repeating. For example, let me begin with the two. Two. This one you would get it by repeating one two times. That is one. I. I. So 2 is written as I, I. Then we have 
3. 3 is written as I, I, I. So you repeat one three times. What about if I add here a zero? If I add here a zero, now my number is in tens. So we are going to repeat numbers which are in tens. That is x to stand for ten, x for another ten. What about if I put here also a zero? Okay? This one is going to give us, we are also in a 10, so we shall have x for 10, x for another 10, that is 20, x for the third 10, that is 30. What about if I write here 200? Okay, 200. 200 is now in hundreds. So it means we shall repeat hundreds. So we shall have a hundred, which is a C, another hundred, which is a C, to make it 200. Okay? What about if I write also 300? 300 is going to give us, it is still in hundreds, so we shall have a hundred, a hundred, that is 200, another a hundred to make it 300. Okay? What about if now I add on another zero? Mm -hmm. So the number which I have written here is in thousands. So it means in this case we are going to repeat thousands. So a thousand is written as M. Another thousand is written as M. So it is 1,000, 1,000. When you add them together, you get 2,000. What about if I also add here the three zeros? What is this one going to give me? Still, it is in thousands. So we shall have a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, which is going to give me 3,000. Okay? Yes. We have another category of Roman numerals which we get by which we get by subtracting we have roman numerals which we get by subtracting and these roman numerals begin with 4 and 9 these roman numerals begin with the 4 and 9. So, if I come and write 4, 4 is going to be got by subtracting. So, what do we subtract? You are supposed to come back to this table. 4 is between 1 and 5. So, since 4 is between 1 and 5, it means you will get 5, you take away 1. 5 you take away 1 in order to get 4. So in Roman numerals, 4 take away 1. For them, they begin by writing the number you are subtracting. So which number are we subtracting? 1. You come and write it in Roman numerals. It is 1. I. Which we are subtracting from 5. And 5 in Roman numerals is written as V. So... For in that case, will become IV. What about if I add here a zero? If I add here a zero, you will trace for 40. Where do we have 40? 40 lies between 50 and 10. Okay? 40 lies between 50 and 10. So in this case, you have to get 50, you take away 10. So in Roman numerals, you begin with the number you are subtracting. So we are subtracting 10, which will be x. We are subtracting it from 10, which is, I mean 50, which is L. Okay? We can go ahead and have 400. So 400 is between 100 and 500. Okay? 
So we shall get 500, we take away 100. So in Roman numerals, they begin with a number you are subtracting. So we are subtracting 100 from 500, which is D. Okay? Yes. We have also those ones which begin with 9. I have told you 4 and 9. So we have those ones that begin with 9. So 9, you come and trace for 9. 9 is between... 10 and 5. 9 is between 10 and 5, okay? So in this case, if you want to get 9, what do you subtract from 10? What do I subtract from 10 to get 9? It is going to be 10 minus 1. So I have told you in Roman numerals, they begin by writing the number you are subtracting. So we shall get 10 minus 1. 1 is i, which we are subtracting from 10. So 9 becomes i x. What about if we have if we have 90? If we have 90, 90 is between 50 and 100. Okay? So it means we shall get 100. What do we take away from 100 to get 90? It is going to be 10. So we shall get 10 subtracted from 100, which is C. So 90 in that case becomes XC. What about if we have 900? Okay? 900. 900 is between is between 1,000 and 500, okay? So, what do we subtract from 1,000 in order to get 900? It is going to be 1,000, you take away 100. So, I told you in Roman numerals, they begin with the number you are subtracting. We are subtracting 100, which is C. We are subtracting it from 1,000, which is written as M. Then you interchange. So if you interchange, if you interchange, this one will give you C. Then this one will give you M. So 900 becomes C, M. Okay? Yes. Those are what you call subtraction of Roman numerals. We have got also other Roman numerals beyond this. Like 4,000, we can have 9,000. But those ones are beyond your level. As you go on with your education, teachers will take you through that. But as far as our class is concerned, we are going to stop on this to avoid confusion. So, I have told you that we have Roman numerals which are got by repeating. Those are Roman numerals which begin with 2 and 3. I have also taken you through Roman numerals which are got by subtracting. And I've got, I've told you that those are, Rom those are numbers that begin with 4 and 9. So the moment you see a number beginning with 4 and 9, and you have been told to write it in Roman numerals, just know that you are going to cut out subtraction. Then the rest of the numbers will be got by adding. The rest of the numbers will be got by adding. So, having done this, can we look at examples? Let's look at examples. Write the following in Roman numerals. Write the following in Roman numerals. Write the following in Roman numerals. My number one is 200 
235. So in order for you to write this number in Roman numerals, you must first of all expand it using place values. So if I expand this one using place values, then get values, you will find that this one is in, in the place value of ones, tens, then this one hundreds. So two times a hundred, we shall get two hundred. What about three times ten, we shall get thirty. What about five times ones, we shall get five. Okay? So come here and write the corresponding Roman numerals. 200. How do we write 200? Do you remember where two, where two falls? Two falls under repeating Roman numerals. And this is 200. So it means I have repeated hundreds. So how many hundreds have I repeated to get? 200. Those are two. So we shall get a hundred. A hundred which will give me 200. Then we go to 30. 30 is also among the repeating Roman numerals. So 30 is in the tens, so we shall have 10, 10, then another 10, which will give me 30. What about 5? Five? 5 is just here among the Roman numerals that we have, so this one will be I. V. So having done that, come and get the original number, which is 235. So 235 is going to give me a new number, beginning from top, going downwards. C, C, X, X, another X, Sorry, sorry, this one is V. This one is V. Then finally, V. So it means 235 written in Roman numerals will give us CC, XXX, then V. Let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. This time I have 100. 94. 194. So I have told you that you are supposed to expand this one using place values. Then you get values of numbers. This is ones, tens, hundreds. So one times a hundred, this one is going to give you 100. Nine times ten, we are going to get 90. 4 times 1s, we shall get 4. Okay? So, what are we getting from this? 100. 100, do we have it among the best 7? Yes. So, 100 is represented by C. So, we write here C. What about 90? Do we have 90 here? No. So, Look at 9. I told you that Roman numerals that begin with, I mean numbers that begin with 4 and 9, you are going to carry out what we call subtraction. So 90 is between 100 and 50. So we shall get 100. What do you take away to get 90? It is 10. So what do we begin by writing? The number you are subtracting. So it is 10 subtracted from 100. So 90 becomes XC. What about 4? Four? 4 is also under subtraction. So, 4 falls under 5, I mean between 5 and 1. So, what am I going to write? I'm going to get 5 minus 1. But in Roman numerals, you begin with the number you are subtracting, which is I, subtracted from 5. So what is this one going to give me? Begin from up, going down. That is C, X, C, I, V. There are four. This is four. This is nine. This is 
1. So 194 is going to give us CXCIV. Let's have another example. Let's have another example. Another example we can have, maybe we can have 58. Okay? We can have 58. So how do we write 58 in Roman numerals? Okay? Here I have been using vertical method, but we can also use horizontal method. So when we use horizontal method, expand your numbers horizontally. This is ones, this is tens. So 58 is going to give me 5 times 10, you get 50. Okay? Plus 8 times 1, you are going to get 8. Come and write here the corresponding Roman numerals. 50, do we have 50 on this table? Yes. 50 is written as... L. So you come and write here L. In Roman numerals, we don't add. Okay? We don't add letters. What about 8? Do we have 8 here? No. Is it among repeating? No. Is it among subtraction? No. So this one is going to be addition. So 8 is after 5. Okay? 8 is after 5. So we shall get Five. What do I add on five to get eight? What do I add on five to get eight? We shall add there three. So how do we write three in Roman numerals? I, I, I. So we shall have five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Do you realize that we have a gap here? Yes. And we don't want this gap here. So bring those letters together. So we shall have L, then V, I, I, I. So it means 58 will give us L, V, I, I. Let's have one more last example, which is D. The last example. We are expanding, I mean, we are going to write 1999. I love this number because it is when this school started. Kampala Quality started in 1999. Write this one in Roman numerals. You expand as usual. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand. So, 1,000. 900, no, 1,999 is going to give us 1 times 1,000, 1,000. Plus, 9 times 100, 900. Plus, 9 times 10, 90. Plus, 9 times 1, you get 9. Okay? Yes. 1,000, do we have 1,000 in our basic 7? Yes, 1,000 is written as M. M. Remember, Roman numerals don't add letters. What about 900? Do we have it here? No. So where does it fall? It falls between 500 and 1,000. So 900 is under this category of subtraction. So we shall get 1,000. What do we take away to get 900? 100. So we shall have this one as 1,000, which is M, minus 100, which is C. So 900 becomes CM. 90. Do we have it here? No. It falls between... 50 and 100. So we shall get 100. What do we take away to get 90? 10. So it is 10, then 100. So 90 becomes XC. What about 9? 9 is between 5 and 10. So what do we subtract from 10 to get 9? It is 1. So we shall get 1, which is I. Subtract it from 10, so 9 becomes IX. Therefore, bring those letters together. This one is going to give you M, C, M, X, 
C I X. Okay? So it means 1999 will give us M C M X C I X. I think you have seen how interesting Roman numerals are. What is very important is you to get a textbook, get very many numbers, then you practice. When you practice, it's when you will master this one better. Thank you so much for being a good learner. I wish you well. Bye-bye.